summer is coming to an end, and that means students will be returning to the classroom. That's right, and no doubt this school year will be filled with many different challenges, but one ministry is helping high school and college students prepare for what's ahead. That's right, Charlene. Campus Renewal and Every Student Sent, a community-based platform, connects students to churches and ministries. That's right, and they're kicking off a back-to-school event called Mobilized for the Mission. And here to tell us more is Jeremy Story. He is president of Campus Renewal. Tell us a little bit about the work that you guys do with Every Student Sent and why it's important, especially right now. Sure, of course, it's because the school year is beginning again uh, for college students. And one of the largest issues that we have, I believe, in the church is the transition of youth into adulthood and the discipleship process we have there. And uh, what we find is that right now, students that are leaving high school out of our youth groups and whatnot across the country, uh, Christian youth groups, Christian ministries, uh, most surveys nationally, any of them, depending on what you look at, range between 50 to 70 percent of those students. Some would say as low as 40, but still it's pretty significant. 40 to 70 percent are walking away from their faith in college. And then other surveys are showing that those students are not coming back because culture does not bring them back anymore like uh, we previously could count on. I don't think we probably should have ever counted on it, um, but uh, it's exceedingly important as students transition to college, those first few weeks and months of college really shape a significant part of their future. Wow. Well, Jeremy, tell us about the back to school event that you're hosting. Sure. Uh, Every Student Sin is really a coalition of a variety of college ministries, pretty much all of them across the country, and high schools and uh, high school ministries and everybody involved from youth to college. And so what it allows students to do is to be able to go online and be able to connect with uh, ministries and churches and with each other. It's not just with ministries and churches. They'll be able to see each other on the same campus. So it provides them with community. They can also see discipleship material. And so what this uh, event is, is just to raise awareness that there is a tool like this and also to provide resources and encouragement to students uh, who are headed off to college, either for the first time or maybe they're sophomores or juniors at this point. We also have content on that live broadcast that will be coming and useful for parents or Christian high school administrators or just Christians who are high school administrators or even youth leaders. Jeremy, one of the things that you actually encourage students to do is to be the change by mobilizing their culture for missions and revival at their high school or college campus. Talk about that for a bit. Yeah, uh, in essence, and it's a short interview, but in essence, you know, the church is discipling for a world that no longer exists. And we must change how we disciple our young and our older uh, in the sense that we are discipling as if we are Jews sitting around in Jerusalem and everybody understands us and they know our culture and they understand the Bible or all the things. However, we really need to be discipling like we are the Jews in Babylon, the Jews who are in a foreign culture, who do who, the culture that does not understand some of their basic assumptions. And so what happens is oftentimes in, in the best case scenarios, we fill students through a bi- full of Bible knowledge and full of, of good truth. But when they're faced with some of the extreme things that they are faced with on a daily basis on the Internet or in their schools or their classrooms um, with their friends, they do not know how those truths apply to the things that are immediately around them. And so teaching them how to hear from the Lord and engage others in mission, basically how to be in the world, but not of it. What role can parents uh, play in this? Do they have a role? Yeah, that's, they play a huge role. In fact, even more so than I think their local church. Local church is very important. Uh, local ministry is very important, but parents, absolutely integral. Uh, and so what I would say is if your student is in high school now or middle school or elementary school, think through literally every day as much as you can, how how, and what am I doing right now so that whether it's a daily occurrence, a movie they watched or something they encountered on the internet or something that a classmate told them, how can I turn that into a learning experience to help them not learn how to sort of avoid those situations, but how do I learn, teach them how to, to embed themselves there and successfully bring their faith and and grow their faith in those dark environments. You're amazing, but we are running out of time, Charlene. Really, really quickly, give us the website with the information that parents, youth group leaders, and even students can go to, especially about this back to school event. What's the website? Yeah, everystudentsent.org. If you just simply go there, you'll be able to sign up for this back to school event and be a part of this live webinar. And you can also sign up for the site. You can do either one or both. Everystudentsent.org. Dot org. Perfect. Jeremy Perfect. Story, thank you so Thanks, much for Jeremy. your time and for this amazing, vital work that you guys are doing. Amen. Thank you, guys.